morning, somebody on Twitter called Twilight came to post this picture of Samuel Inkum and he said, Is this Samuel Inkum thing true? Hey, 2024 is some year. And this is a wanted poster of footballer Samuel Inkum. Wanted for visa fraud. Now, when he posted this, you know, a lot of people said a lot of things. Samuel Inkum has also come to clear his name. But if you check the conversation that went on under this picture, you have doubts. Is Samuel Inkum telling the truth? Is he telling a lie? Is he wanted for fraud? Is he fraudulent? Or all this is just something to smear his name in the mouth? I have the full gist. I'm the headless teacher, but there's headless reactions. Alati, Yanko! So this is the poster that was put on Twitter. Wanted person, Samuel Inkum, Visa Fraud. Ex-Black Star player and brand ambassador for Plus One Energy Drink, Samuel Inkum, is a wanted by a Rofobini is a wanted by the Cantonment Divisional Police Headquarters in a visa fraud case which occurred recently. He is on a false pretense taking money from victims all in the name of securing them visas to the Netherlands. Now he is on the run and wanted by the police. Kindly assist the police by calling Cantonment Police Station. Beware of visa fraud. Now, if you look at this poster, it doesn't look like a standard Ghana police wanted poster. Because this doesn't have the Ghana police logo on it. There are some um, spelling mistakes and also there's no phone number to call. There's no email address. There's no... you get it. So now I was wondering, say, hey, is this really from Ghana police? Or this is from somebody that hey, maybe the person is not happy about what has happened between he and Samuel Inkum. And he has gone to design this and given it to some agenda boy to post on Twitter to create conversation. Whatever it is, no. People were dragging Samuel Inkum. Some people too were asking, say, did you verify this before you put it out? Because the caption is, is this Samuel Inkum thing true? Hey, 2024 is some year. So now people are asking him that, did he verify but then one person came to comment that, boss, I'm a victim. He took my $1,300 down payment for working visa to the Netherlands. I have voice audio evidence at Bosphorus Restaurant. So date, bro, I know they see I'm Charlie. If you want to interview me, I'll make ready. The same person came back to say, boss, I'm a victim. He took my $1,300. I have voice audio evidence. Now, I want to check this person's Twitter handle. This person has made about five tweets or six tweets. And all those tweets are about this Samuel Inkum thing. So now I'm thinking that this person is the one who has an issue with Samuel Inkum. And this person has gone to design um, a flyer and given it to a popular person on Twitter to post, to generate conversation, so that he will say, boss, I have audio evidence. If you want to interview me, come and interview me. Then they'll create a Twitter space and talk about it and drag some more income into it. That is my theory. But then other people came. Somebody came to write that those defending him. That's the card he gave to me at Palace Mall. I was just sitting with my guys chilling. And he approached us with some visa talks. I nearly linked three of my guys to him. And then the person posted this um, complimentary card from Samuel Inkum. You can see phone number there. You can see website and stuff. But if you check the website, it is currently under maintenance. But then, they've not written anything that shows that Samuel Inkum is into VESA deal. They've written Samuel Inkum Management Agency. But anyway, Jan Twasso, somebody came to write that, hey, didn't he just launch a football agency or something like that? And then the person who posted the complimentary card no, came to write that, forget the football agency, bro. We have, all, we have all the evidence about the fraud case, bro. And they asked which evidence. And he said, this is a video of me, the victim, and him at Bosphorus on a meeting for the first time. So that means this Edusei guy is linked to this self-defense guy. Because the self-defense guy said they met at Bosphorus. And now the Dusa guy has posted a video of him with a Samo Inkum and the other guy at Bosphorus. Why is the bottom? The three crowd will need be a same better for my Ukromsi now. You get my mouth in the mood correct, simply the best. You can see a bonzo motion. 
Oh, Beniji, say my head trendy, mono cry. We fear your back, Ubo. Baby, back, Ubo. It's your headless. Now, oh, be money on my papa. So, at this point, the whole thing is making sense to me from observation that, okay, so Edu say and his friend have probably been duped by um, some more income and they want to make that thing public but then they've not gone to report it to the police officially so these guys have created their own um a friend saying wanted flyer and they've given it to twilight on twitter to post it so that they'll generate conversation around it he even posted a picture of his friend and some more income the day they had the meeting and he posted other documents of you know transaction that went on income plaza limited and some mobile money that they sent and if you check the mobile money name that they sent to, it was to Sambo Inkum. And if you check the phone number, the last phone numbers over there now, it tallies with the phone number on the complimentary card. So now it's like, hey, these guys have enough evidence that Sambo Inkum has duped them. So this is what they did. But when they ask that, hey, now Sambo Inkum, a footballer that has played in nine different countries, like say, Switzerland, Ukraine, France, Greece, USA, Portugal, Turkey, Bulgaria, Georgia, he has played in all these countries now. Why would he defraud people? If you go and check on Samuel Income's Instagram, you can see S. Income Football Management Agency. And even just this past 5th December 2023, he posted a video on his page where they were doing some projects for the agency. See, the project has started. This is S. Income Football Management Agency. Yes, sir. I can promise everybody in Ghana that we will make sure we keep them very good there. We have a platform for them to showcase them around. So, you understand, like you said, we want to make sure we give this young kid a good proper platform for them to showcase themselves. We have a project already. See? Anybody who wants to come on board to come and do partnership with SCP Football Management Agency, we are ready. Sit down and talk proper. And now I just want you guys to know that we promised the whole Ghanaians that we do what we want to do. Going on is happening live. You see? Yeah. So at this point, from my observation, this is the vibe that I'm getting. Maybe, allegedly, some of income is using this football management agency thing to secure visas for other people who may not be footballers so that they can go there. And maybe he has taken money from these people and they are not hearing or they are not seeing results as fast as they want to see. And because of that, they've come to put all these things online. But then Samuel Income did a video. And in the video, he had some few things to say about all these rumors and allegations and the poster that is circulating. Watch this video. The artwork going on through, through social media, somebody claiming something against me. Um, I've already managed to contact the headquarters police in cantonment and they have already told me this is not coming from them this is no official from them and they cannot do such a thing so i have my own registered travel and tour company so this is what i just want to also talk about it and also i've already given this case to my lawyers you know this secreting stuff going on social media to my lawyers to handle it. In the video, he has said a lot of things, but at the same time, no, he has not said anything. He has, <laughs> I, he has not said anything. All he said is that the poster, no, he has reached out to cantonment police and they said it's not them who posted the thing. So that is giving me vibes that, okay, my observation is right. Also, he said he owns a visa agency. That is what he said, though. He owns a visa agency. But if you check his Instagram, somebody who owns a business there in car, you advertise your business. But there's no advertisement of visa agency on his page. It is only the football management agency. Also, Samuel Inkum didn't say in the video that he has not defrauded anybody. He didn't debunk it. He just said that it is not the police who posted it and he has reached out to the police. And it's not them who posted it. He didn't clear his name. And then he said he has given the case to his lawyers and we'll hear from the lawyers. So at this point, you know, this is a case between the boys and some more income. Whether they'll take it to court, whether they'll go and do official reports to the police because this uh, flyer that they did there, this, it doesn't look anything official. This is what an official Ghana police wanted flyer looks like. 
it looks nothing like the summer income one. So now will summer income go and report them? Or will they, will they talk about this thing back door and clear everything? Whatever it is, no. We are here for the tea. January has started. And I started very interestingly. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Do you think some more income is indeed defrauding them? Or you think this is boys boys move that is not going as they think it will go? And because of that, they've taken this desperate measure to bring out some false flyer to come and destroy the guy's name or to draw people's attention that some more income is a fraud. Whatever it is, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I don't know. Yeah,